at the Peggy Porton cake shop. She makes uh, bespoke cakes and pastries and it is one of the most popular places in London for Instagrammers and you can see it's extremely pretty and they're at it already. I thought if I, if I come out early enough I'll, I'll, get a, I'll get a clean shot of the place but uh, it's, uh, it's already too late. So exquisite. The chandeliers, the girly pink, the fairy lights, the white flowers. She has gone all out to make this shop as cute and Christmassy as can be. Even the, even the rope on the brass stand is pink. And more pictures. Okay, I'll go around the other side. I'm trying to get a few more shots from the other, from the other direction. crowds are gathering so I'm going to skedaddle and move up the road. This is a super cute shop for children's shoes called Papuelli. I'll show you the sign in just a second. I'm just getting a, a shot of these absolutely gorgeous decorations and the shoes. I love Mary Jane's. That was my favorite shoe when I was when I was a child. Uh, there Mary Jane's. I used to love them. I had them in black. That's the shop. And obviously social media is it these days. And this is actually a not massively attractive display and they have not made enough of an effort, but I do rather like these little booties. There. Yep, come to mummy. Important to be driving the right car for one's shopping trips, of course. The other side of the street looks a bit like this. Moises Stevens, the flower shop on Ebury Street with the most lush Christmas offering. Here's the mistletoe hanging a bit too low for a Christmas kiss, unless you're a child. And I'm just going to peer inside the shop. I have, uh, I have signed to the young woman inside that it's okay to take a picture of her inside having her early morning cup of tea. And this is the outside. with huge pine cones and as ever exquisite there are oh, little silver baubles catching the light but classy very very nice I love this oh. Cozy Scottish cashmere, perfect for this time of year. And this rather nice dove grey or blue cable knit jumper caught my eye. With great slouchy cashmere joggers. This is the Thomas Cupid, a restaurant where I sometimes have dinner in the upstairs dining room. Very English, but young staff, funky, good menu. And this year they have just hung a few baubles on the olive trees. They have a couple of potted olive trees either side of the entrance. And they have done a very low key display of just a few Christmas baubles. Very pretty. I look at that, this beaten up old Ford parked outside Moises Stevens held together with sellotape is totally ruining the aesthetics. But I guess I'll survive. Tom Tom for the cigar smoker. Another pretty stretch of road. This is Philip, I think it's pronounced Tracy. I don't know. Tracy? Tracy? The Hatter, and this is Les Honteurs, where you get scents and perfumes, who obviously uh, 
feel the need to display huge balls. And uh, I'm not going to comment further on this. I may. I think it's bridal. I spot some sort of bridal gowns and accessories in the background in the shop. And this is very pretty. Let me go a little bit closer and see if I can get the detailing on the lace. Now that is gorgeous. Something different. In festive red. And the shop itself is pretty too. Somerville and Bishop do French sort of rustic tableware kitchen equipment for large country kitchens and some absolutely beautiful ceramics. As a closing shot, I will use this very beautiful plain wreath on a private home that is decorating a gorgeously painted blue door and a little bay tree. Nice.